There's Robert. Hey! <laughs> I had to give him some sort of sound effect, why not? Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Hey guys and welcome back to the next part of Let's Play Pretend on episode. Um, are you okay? I remember when my parents mentioned Jason at the hospital. I had forgotten about him until now. Yeah, let me explain. So I told him the same thing I told Chloe and Ethan. I explained how I couldn't remember anything. And when I told him that I couldn't remember him either, I watched his face drop in disappointment. He was hurt. And it was my fault because I'd been irresponsible six months ago. I felt guilty. I'm really sorry, Jason. It's not your fault. I shouldn't have assumed everything would go back to the way they used to. I could leave you alone if you want. It's fine. Just don't try to kiss me again. I won't. I promise. This is awkward. Listen, I know this is all new and very confusing for you, but... Do you think there could be a chance that in the future we could be together again? Um, that is such a weird question to ask someone who's just come out of a coma. <laughs> um, let's say I don't know, cause I honestly don't know. I haven't thought about relationships with everything going on. I totally get it. Sorry to push this topic on you so soon. No worries. Listen, I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable or anything. I'll let you figure all this out right now. And when you do, I'll be here for you no matter what. At least I seem to have a good taste in boyfriends. Jason is pretty nice. Well, I need to get going to my next class. Yeah, me too. See you around, I guess. Yeah. See ya. Oh, he's sad. Oh, I feel really bad that we can't remember any of these people. <laughs> well, that was quite the show. After more boring classes, Robert said he would pick me up from school. I guess he'll be here any minute. Hey there again, new girl. Oh, hey, um, whatever your name is. My name's Isaac, and your name is Yami? How did you know that? There's been a lot of rumors going around school today. They're all about a girl named Yami who returned to school today after six months in the hospital. I took a look at guess and assumed it was you since you're the only new face around here. Well, you're right. I'm the girl. So, I guess you're not really a new girl, huh? I guess not. I transferred here a few months ago, so I guess I'm the newbie. Well, I would show you around the school if I hadn't forgotten where everything was located. Well, we can help each other out. I gotta go now. My ride is waiting. Alright, but before you go, give me your phone. Why? So I can give you my phone number. You know, in case of emergencies. Oh, of course. There we go. Text me whenever, alright? And don't worry about bothering me. Thanks, Isaac. See you around. Bye. There's Robert. Hey. <laughs> I had to give him some sort of sound effect. Why not? Hey, Pumpkin. How was your first day back at school? It was eventful. Yes, I'd imagine so. You didn't have any trouble with anything, did you? No, everyone was nice and helpful. And, uh, I... I met my friends and my boyfriend. They must have been happy to see you. They were surprised, that's for sure. None of them knew I'd lost my memory. I thought you told them. I didn't. I'm sorry. I was so happy to have you back home. It must have slipped my mind. I hope this day wasn't too stressful for you. I'm just glad it's over now. Shall we go home then? After a long and awkward car ride home, go ahead and do whatever you please. Remember, this is your home. There's no need for you to feel uncomfortable, all right? Now, if you need me, I'll be in my office doing some work. It's just down the hall from my bedroom. Wait, Robert. Yes, sweetheart? What? is your job. You and Janice never told me. Right, it never occurred for me to tell you. I'm still getting used to your memory loss. But to answer your question, Janice is a lawyer. She's a pretty darn good one too. Her job keeps her pretty busy, so she comes home late most nights. As for me, I'm a businessman. I own many of the businesses in this town. Wow, no wonder you could afford this mansion. Yes, Janice and I have quite the large income. Was there anything else you wanted to know? No, that's all for now. All right then. Oh, and by the way, I never mentioned this, but we have a little cabin in these woods. I wouldn't expect for you to go into the forest in the first place, but just in case you do, this is just a heads up. A heads up? Yes. Janice and I don't want you to go into that cabin. How come? It's dangerous. We're doing renovations and I don't want anything falling on you. Why do you have a cabin in the woods if you have this mansion? It's for the guests to use if they decide to stay the night. Oh, okay. So, stay away from the cabin. In fact, just stay out of the forest entirely. Am I clear? Yep, I'll stay away from it. Or not. Good. Now then. You know where to find me. Actually, I don't know where to find him. He never showed me where his bedroom or office is. Whatever. I'll find it eventually if I need to. I want to explore that cabin, but I'm afraid Robert might catch me. I don't know what kind of punishment I'd get for that. I'd better not risk it. Maybe I'll do something inside instead. What should I do? Ooh, we can find the maid. I always wanted to see her after she got mentioned. And I wonder why she was told to stay away. Let's go have a look for the maid. I wonder where she is. Hmm, she's not here. I don't really want to run around the entire house looking for her. I 
wonder how she keeps the house so clean if she's never around. I'll ask Janice more about it later. Well, that was a bust. I wonder what I should do now. Robert still has me curious about that cabin. He shouldn't have mentioned it if he didn't want me to investigate. How dangerous could a few renovations be anyways? I'm going to that cabin. Oh my gosh, girl. It's true though. If someone said don't explore a cabin, I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna explore that cabin later. It's hard to see the pathway. It's overgrown. I hope I don't get lost. I also wish I brought bug spray. What's that over there? It looks like a stuffed bunny. It's cute. Wait, there's a tag with something written on it. Tag. Well, Veronica, our little princess. Love, mom and dad. Who's Veronica? Maybe she's my cousin or something. She may have been staying here for a visit and lost her bunny. I'm not sure what I should do with that. I guess I'll just leave it here for now. Wow, what a quaint little cabin. This place doesn't look like it's under renovations. Was Robert lying to me? Might as well go inside and check it out. It's nice in here. But oddly enough, this place looks like it hasn't been used in a long time. Maybe Janice and Robert don't have guests very often. Wait, what's that piece of paper? It looks like a note. Robert, please remove all of Veronica's belongings to the cellar. We need to make sure Veronica's stuff stays hidden, so make sure to lock the cellar door. Better yet, make it known that this cabin is off limits. I know you can come up with an excuse. Janice. Oh man, this keeps getting weirder and weirder. Again with this Veronica girl. Who is she? How is she connected to Janice and Robert? The note said there was a cellar here. Hmm, it must be hidden. Not here. Bingo! There's an electronic lock on it. It needs a password. I don't know much about Janice and Robert, but maybe I could take a guess? What might the password be? Ooh, let's try Veronica. This Veronica person seems to be important. Her name might work. It actually worked! It's open! Whoa, this is creepy. Why do they have a cellar? Oh my gosh, I just fell in. Ouch! Well, that was painful. What kind of cellar is this? There's got to be something about Veronica down here. Hmm, books. Let's see what we've got here. It's just a story with various fairy tales. Little Red Riding Hood, Hansel and Gretel, Snow White, Hold on, there's something at the back of the book. It's a picture of a girl. Oh, who is she? Is she cute? She was beautiful. She also looked about the same age as me. There was something written on the back of the photo. It said, Veronica, July 2015. Our very own fairy tale princess. So, this was Veronica. She certainly doesn't look like a little girl. I wonder what's up with all the kiddie stuff. And why is she so important? Denise and Robert seem to be hiding her existence for some reason. What if they kidnapped her? I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Why would Janice? and Robert kidnaps some random girl for no reason. This is all so strange and confusing. What kind of life did I wake up to? Yummy! Where are you? Is that Robert? Yummy! Ooh, this is getting super exciting. Did they kidnap a girl or am I the girl that they kidnapped? Anyway guys, if you want to find out what happens in the story next, you're going to have to subscribe, leave a like on the video if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Your channel sweet just like some candy Ooh, Hot just like Miami Yeah, a hit deserves a Grammy You like it, so subscribe Let it take you for a ride Post a comment, you gon' see that purple hair Go side to side Watch it go side to side And don't forget she got that merch to buy